World Antimicrobial Awareness Week is celebrated from November 18th to the 24th every year. And this year's theme is spread awareness, stop resistance. Resistance to antibiotic medicine helps naturally, usually, though genetic changes. However, the overuse or misuse of antibiotics, lack of clean water and lack of sanitation could speed up this process. Joining me now is Dr. Anthony Casapo a clinical assistant professor with the University of Florida. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Corley. Thank you very much for having me here. And what is an antibiotic? What we need to remember is antibiotics is, is usually a drug or a compound. Uh, what it actually is is targeted only for um, specifically bacteria. So we need to just inform people and aware um, everyone to know that antibiotics are used specifically for bacteria. And what is antibiotic resistance? And so when we hear the word antibiotic resistance, uh, what we've noticed is the traditional drugs that we use or traditional antibiotics to treat these bacteria or to in, uh, prevent these bacterial infections to progress, we would prefer to use the right drugs. But what we've noticed is people may be misusing them inappropriately, so as in the wrong dose or the wrong duration. And what we've noticed is now these bacteria are becoming resistant to these traditional or conventional drugs that we usually treat. And how can taking antibiotics contribute to antibiotic resistance? And so that's the key thing. So whenever your healthcare provider has noticed that you have an infection, specifically a bacterial infection, we want to make sure that you do take your antibiotics, but take it for the whole duration that they've given it to you. So if they've given it to you to, to take it for seven days, please complete the seven days. And why is it so important to make sure we care about antibiotic resistance? And that's, I think that's the biggest issue is not a lot of people know, but we only have a few, um, you can say a few selection of antibiotics for certain bugs. And we've noticed an increase of resistance throughout the whole world, not just all around the world, but also here in Florida and in Jacksonville. So I think what we need to be aware of is just make sure that when you do have an infection, that it is considered to be bacterial. If it's a viral, um, we're not going to be able to use any of those drugs. So those drugs that we have, uh, we only have only a certain amount of supply, specifically selections type. So we don't have a, a, a numerous number of list of antibiotics. And how can we protect ourselves and our families from antibiotic resistance? So I think the key thing is specifically now during the respiratory season where a lot of people may get sick, most commonly the infections are caused by viruses. So I think what we need to know is work with your healthcare provider and talk to them to see where, where when you go with them, whether it's telehealth or it's going to your or primary care physician. Make sure that you're um, you're right there with them. Be up to date with your vaccines. Continue to wash your hands and prevent you know the spread of, of of the bacteria. But also, when you know that you have an infection or you feel like you're not feeling well, you know, talk to your healthcare provider. Then they will help you determine if you have a bacterial infection or a viral viral infection. If it's bacterial, they're going to go ahead and give you the right antibiotic. All right, that is great information. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Corley, for your time.